Hello guys, and welcome back to, I guess it's like a tutorial or information video on uh, snapshots today. So, uh, what I'll basically be covering is um, why it's important to uh, test snapshots, backing up your workspace, and um, just general knowledge of what the snapshots are for and stuff like that. So, uh, buckle your seatbelts and we'll get right into it. So what is a snapshot and uh, what is the system that Amp Creator has in place for snapshots? Um, as of 2020.3, they have some changes that they've made to their development cycle for releasing snapshots. The first snapshot will always be a major change, uh, things that are planned basically for a while or big changes to the program, um, things that might take a lot more time to develop. Uh, second snapshots are usually new features from the um, feature requests from the issue tracker, things like that. Um, I have covered a little bit on how to report bugs but not feature requests. Feature requ requests are a little bit more open, uh, it just requires more describing what um, you want added, but it's basically the same system, just not reporting it as a bug, but more as a feature. Um, and the third snapshot is uh, for bug fixes as of 2020.3. So currently we're on that version right now. Um, and it will just consist of bug fixes to basically um, weed out all the problems and stuff like that from uh, make adding the new features and stuff. So to actually get your snapshots, uh, what we want to do is go to the M Creator uh, snapshot downloads. There's a button right here that you can click. It'll bring you to M Creator snapshot downloads. And then all your, the downloads can be viewed right here. Um, there will be uh, probably three or depending on how many they have, there might be more, but um, usually there's three depending on what uh, stage has been released. So um, basically you'll wanna read it as this number here. If it's a higher number, what this will do is basically means that it's a newer build of the snapshot. Uh, this would be the second snapshot that was released for 20, um, 20.3 and that would be the first snapshot that was released for 2020.3. Um, this is the version for which the snapshot is for and uh, that I'm not actually sure what that means but um, and then it's just the um, amp creator name and then it lists what versions the amp creator uh, snapshot is for. So uh, it's for Minecraft, for 1.14 and 1.15 for this particular snapshot. So um, a few other things to note is snapshots aren't stable releases, they never were, and shouldn't be used to develop a stable builds of your mods. They're strictly for testing and providing feedback to mCrater and should be used with caution. Um, if you want to participate and help test for bugs as well as provide feedback, then uh, basically backing up your workspace is a good idea. And then testing your workspace uh, to basically find the bugs and stuff like that. If you're just going for providing feedback, uh, you can also just create a new workspace in the snapshot as well. Um, now the how to basically back up your workspace. We'll get into that in a little bit. But uh, to report a bug, uh, I've covered a tutorial, I'll link to that below on how to report bugs to Amp Creator. Uh, if you go to the support page and then issue tracker, uh, you can create a new issue. And if you wanna view the issues that you have reported uh, or feature requests, then you can click on the My Issues and it'll bring you to the list of issues that or feature requests that you've added. Um, you can open a new issue here as well. So um, just follow the tutorial if you're reporting a bug. If you're re adding a feature request, then um, just provide as much information on what you're wishing to 
uh, see in a future version and there's a chance that it will be added in the future. So going over to mCreator now, if you want to back up your workspaces, what you want to do is go to uh, File and then Export Workspace to Shareable Zip and you want to export this to your desktop or somewhere you can basically remember where this file is going to be. Uh, you want to give it a name as like something that's unique that you know what version of your mod, maybe what version of Forge, things like that. Uh, it's recommended to probably list the Forge version as well. So if you don't know your Forge version, uh, if you go to uh, your workspace and the workspace settings, all your uh, basic build information is here. So uh, currently I'm on uh, Minecraft Forge for 1.14, so we know it's a 1.14 mod, and the build of Forge is 28.2.16. So you wanna make sure to include that in your backup so you don't forget to um, what version you were running as well, as well as uh, what version of your mod you're on as well. So this will help you later know what mods, uh, what backup is the uh, one that you were last working on. So for example, if we were to go and export, I would say CCTV craft, and then I would say my version, and then the version for what Minecraft, so 1.14.4, and then um, 28.2.16. And this will just let me know that it will um, basically be able to understand what version it has saved it as. So if we click save and then um, it basically saves it to wherever we saved it to. So in my case, I clicked the saved it to my desktop. You can basically save it here as well, or if you want to save it somewhere else. Now to actually import a workspace, uh, what you want to do is open a brand new M Creator. Uh, I've always done it through opening a brand new M Creator and then going to uh, import file, uh, import from file. Pardon me. This little icon right here and then you can select your uh, shareable zip, which is the one that we just exported right here. So you can import that into your uh, snapshot or anything like that. Now any mod that you load, will it'll be a good idea to basically make a backup of it before um, you basically load it or even create a completely different workspace. So what you could do is take that version that we just uh, imported, open that, it'll tell you what file or ask for what folder you wanna save it to. You can go um, uh, CCTV craft uh, test and then you can basically open that. The mod, will then compile and uh, you'll be able to uh, test it on whatever snapshot version that you're working on and then it will be a completely separate workspace from what you're working on so it doesn't get any uh, problems or anything like that. So again uh, if you do find any bugs anything that is not working properly or things that wasn't working properly from your mod that was working properly before uh, report it as a bug uh, let M Creator know about it as soon as you can um, there is a window for reporting bugs so um, it's best to get on top of it on top of it as soon as you can so you can basically uh, hopefully get it fixed before the la later the snapshot is released to an actual released version um, other than that um, hopefully you guys you found Hopefully you guys found this tutorial useful. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and click the silver bell if you haven't already to stay notified, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.